So yeah, I guess we're testing out the viability of a shotgun only uh, run as the multitasker. And yeah, this was a viewer suggestion from the last video, so if you have any uh, suggestions for runs that I could do in Potato, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And who knows, I might actually turn your idea into a uh, run, so yeah. Anyways, let's grab the coupon first, and then the um, shotgun, and then reroll again, and save the double barrel shotgun too. And the lumberjack. For later. So yeah, on to a three. Anyways, so let's just, uh, think the, uh, about surviving this wave, because I think, uh, this, uh, build is gonna be mostly about the attack speed and the, uh, range damage more than anything else. So yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna have to worry about. And let's just dodge all of that, and hopefully just, uh, make it through this wave. And get the wave completed. Like so. And let's drive the attack speed. And the double barrel shotgun too, and I guess uh, nothing else since uh, that was all of our money. Oh well, time to move on to the wave four. So yeah, now you've got uh, five shotguns. So let's just uh, focus on surviving this wave and make it to the next one. Rinse and repeat 20 times in total, and that's how you make the video. Although I suppose you could also uh, film your failures and upload them to YouTube. Just uh, so that your viewers uh, know that you don't necessarily always win. Because I've uh, done that a few times. So yeah, we've completed. And let's grab some range. And some lifesteal. And hey, uh, shotgun 3 is already here. On to wave uh, five. Is that just ate most of our money? Oh dear. And let's just uh, rinse and repeat the last wave, hopefully. Just uh, with more crates, please. So yeah, I guess that one was just a little health item, but uh, I guess uh, that's fine. Also, how's the um, music levels, or do I need to turn that down in these videos? So yeah. Hmm. Just, I guess, uh, let me know for next time, since I'm probably not going to be able to respond to that comment for this one, because, uh, yeah, it's not a live stream or anything. Okay, uh, wave completed, so let's grab some more luck, and the coupon, and the lumberjack shirt. Hmm, and nothing really here. And let's grab the blindfold, and save the silver bullet for later. On to wave 6. I'm surprised I got a silver bullet this early. Because I usually either never get them or only get them at like the last couple of waves. Hmm, maybe this one will be a run where I get all the silver bullets this time. And yeah, I think I might want some pumpkins to uh, help increase the piercing damage. Because that's what pumpkins do in this game. So let's just dodge all of that nonsense like so. And just weave in and out of these... Uh, Hordes, I guess. And just take some unnecessary damage for no good reason. Yeah, don't do what I just did there. That's a good way of losing the game. And again. What did I tell you? So yeah, the wave completed. So let's, uh, I guess, uh, grab some luck. And some range damage, actually. Or maybe the regen would be better. You know what? I changed my mind. Let's go for regen. And a silver bullet. And the glasses. And hmm. And I guess save the uh, shotgun for later. And move on to wave 7. So yeah, let's just uh, just survive this wave since I don't think this is the uh, one with the lots of speedy boys. And just uh, duck our way through this uh, horde and. Hopefully not die. I just killed that thing because, uh, yeah. And, ooh, hey, first crate of its run. So, yeah. That's good. And 
And I hope for some more weird food or lemonade so I can uh, get that thing symbol heals up. And yeah, we've completed. And we cycled the cute monkey. Hmm, I'll take the range damage actually. And the shotgun, and the banner, and the coupon. And the lens. And, uh, nothing else because I can't afford anything else, so I'll move on. Do I wait? So yeah, I guess I, um, uh, shotguns are doing four as a base damage. And I'm seeing some nines scattered about. Yeah, I really need to work on that, uh, range damage. So I guess I'm, uh, hoping for some, uh, coupon, well, I guess small magazines and some scopes. Although more coupons is always a good thing. Because then we pay less for, uh, these items. Ow. And I don't know why I took that damage, so let's just, uh, dodge that nonsense, like so. No, I wish there was a way of uh, applying some poison debuffs uh, for these bullets. Oh well, maybe in a future update for Brotato. So, yeah. And there's the first trade of this wave, so let's just uh, not die, like so. And recycle the dynamite. And, ooh, hey, more range damage, so let's grab that, so now we're up to 5 range damage. And grab the medical turret. And the double barrel shotgun too, and the regular shotgun. And save the dangerous bunny for the nest um, shop. And yeah, I guess I, I have to work on the uh, damage percentage multiplier, so that's gonna be fun to do. So I wish I had some more vigilante marines, because that would be nice game. Oh dear. So let's just uh, wait our way through these. Uh, Waves of enemies, like so, and just take some unnecessary damage, like so. So yeah. I guess I'm doing uh, okay as far as this wave is concerned. At least the enemies uh, die pretty quickly now. So that's a good thing to see. Yeah, because that's basically what you want in this uh, game, along with this walking crate that just spawned. And yeah, guaranteed crate drop. Yeah, I wonder what those things are actually called. I took the you right now, but well... Yeah, I guess I haven't really had any reason to use the wiki for anything but uh, driving some assets for those thumbnails. So yeah, let's restart with the metal. And grab some more damage. And some HP. And the Dangerous Bunny, the Small Magazine, and the Blindfold. And the Shotgun. And the Tree. And the Alien Tongue. And move on, because that's all we can afford. So yeah, just look at that group. Instantly die. I guess that's the power of shotguns when they're uh, fully armed and ready to go. And the enemies, uh die pretty quick. So I guess we've, uh, I think gotten to that point in this build where, uh, nothing can really stop us. And I guess that's the point where you always want to be at in Rotato. So let's just, uh, duck our way through that horde, and uh, like so, and just, uh, hopefully not, uh, take any damage unnecessarily. Oh, dear boy. So yeah, let's just uh, not do that. Yeah, I think I might need some more life steal or regen. So I guess I'm hoping for life steal and regen. And let's just recycle the chameleon. And right as I want it, it appears. At least the life steal does. So let's grab the double barrel shotgun too. Hmm. And I guess the glasses. And we roll again because I don't think there's anything here. But I'll take the shotgun. And I guess we're maxed out on weapons. Because, yeah. And, oh hey, a pumpkin. I'll take one of you. And I guess save the garden and grab the lucky 
Well, the lost duck, I should say. Not the lucky duck. But I guess I'll say the stoke too. And I guess the banner. For more attack speed and range damage. So yeah, let's uh, move on to wave 11. Which is a horde level, so yeah. But I think our shotguns might be up to the task of uh, dealing with all these enemies. And yikes. Now, if only I was fast enough to dodge that. So, I guess some, uh, wings would be nice. Because a potato gives the wings, apparently. Oh, dear. So, yeah, I guess we're keeping the enemies at bay, so that's, uh, nice to see. So let's just take some unnecessary damage, like so, and I guess, uh, grab some more materials. Because that's what we, uh, really want in this game, is more materials. So I guess I'm gonna have to work on that harvesting stat. And complete the wave, like so. Hmm, let's just recycle the Shady Potion, I can't, can't really afford to lose any regeneration. So let's grab some damage. And the garden, the scope, and the banner. Which is named Bruce. And I guess grab the lens. And the wheelbarrow. And save the shotgun and the other garden for later. Yeah, I'm probably gonna be uh, beating that uh, reference uh, like a dead horse. Oh well. So let's just uh, move on and su hopefully survive this wave. Again. Like we've been doing for the last 12 waves. Although three of those waves he... I, I mean, two of those waves he didn't really see, I think. Although I might have missed cannon. Oh well. Let's just move on and not worry about uh, me miscounting the waves. So let's, let's just uh, take some unnecessary damage and almost done. Die, so let's just heal that real quick. But I see the game is being rather generous with those, uh, conceivable heals. And those gardens right now. Which is always nice to see. And let's just complete the wave like so, and... Hmm, no, let's try some speed. And the shotgun, the garden, and... Maybe that mouse. Hmm, I wonder if that's gonna bite me in the bomb layer. Oh well. So let's just uh, reroll this one, because I don't think there's anything I want here, or can afford. But I'll take the weird food. And save the shotgun for later. And move on with her. Uh, to the next wave. Of wave 13. So yeah, let's just, uh, start to weave our way through these, uh, hordes again. And just repeat that behavior. No, I wonder how high I can get that life steal up for these uh, weapons. Maybe to the point where I don't really take any damage because I'm healing too quickly. Cause uh, that would be something else to see in this game. So yeah, let's just uh, duck our way through that. Mass of enemies and like so. And yeah, I think those shotguns are handling the increased enemies rather well. Let's put that Viking helmet guy. And ow. Why did I say that? Ew. Oh well, at least the lifesteal should be keeping up with the uh, damage now. Which it is. Which is a good thing to see. And let's complete the wave and grab the Cyclops arm. And some more lifesteal. We need to... Bringing us up to 7% life steal, so that's nice. Could be higher though. So let's just try this shotgun and the coupon and the tree. And I guess uh, not the little barrel. Yeah, but I'll take the vigilante ring quite happily. So give me that one. And I guess save the garden for next uh, shop. And move on to A14. And just kill whatever that one was. Because I don't think I saw that one. Cause yeah, look at this range that we got. And that's the first straight. 
at this wave, so that's nice. At least I think it's the first straight. Yeah, I mean, it's the first straight. So that's good. Now, if only there was more of those traits. Yeah, I think I'm going to be saying that line a lot um, when uh, playing this game, so better get used to that one. If you decide to, well, sit around. So yeah, we've completed like so, and hmm, actually I'll uh, recycle the Lot of Frog, and I guess I'll take the damage, since uh, that's just a percentage boost, which is a good thing. Along with this, this started in the recycling machine, could have used you a lot earlier in this run, but oh well. And let's drive the wings. And hmm. No, I don't think I want that mouse, because I think I'm tapped out on the amount of enemies I can safely deal with. For now. So yeah, let's just take out that group of enemies like so. Because I think we're just reaching across the map now with shotguns, which are supposed to be short-ranged weapons. Although I suppose we can actually do that and rotate it with the uh, boost to the range. Which, uh, yeah. Actually, I take that back. Uh, they're not reaching across the map. Just, uh, most of the way. But hey, we got two crates, so that's nice. Now, if only we can survive this wave, which I think we're gonna be able to. Assuming I haven't opened my mouth too early. Let's do talk about that. And that's the next trade on the list, so that's always a good thing. And yeah, let's just survive the wave with uh, four crates. So actually, let's recycle the sunglasses, uh, and the incendiary turret, and the laser turret, and the incendiary turret, the other one. And actually, let's drop some uh, range damage, like so. And the alien tongue. Hmm, nothing here. And I'll take the shotgun too. And the lemonade. Hmm, nothing here. I'll take the small magazine. And I guess a bandana. And I guess I'll save the lemonade and the wings for later. Until wave 16. Because, yeah, look at it go. I guess this is where the snowball really kicks in. Assuming I don't die pretty easily to the first uh, few enemies. Because that would just be sad. If I made it this far and didn't manage to win the run. Because I opened my big fat mouth. So, yeah. Let's just, uh... Dodge all of you, and take care of you, and I guess, uh, open some crates. And there's the first crate, and I don't think we're getting any other crates, so that crate better be good. And yeah, first trait obtained, and the only trait. So let's recycle the leech. And I guess, uh, drive the regen. And the wings, and the lemonade, and yeah, move on. And drive the cyclops worm. And I guess save the shotgun three for later, and drive the scope for now. Because that's more range damage, which is now 16. So yeah. And you just uh, watch things instantly die now. Or just about. Oh well, at least we're doing a good job of keeping them at bay. Which is uh, the most important thing about this game is keeping the enemies at bay.
So yeah, let's just complete the wave with two traits, and the first one is a mutation. So actually, let's just take it because I can afford to lose some speed at this point. And we start with the mastery. And got the attack speed. And it is uh, the shotgun 3. And the medical turret. And I guess the other shotgun 3. Like so. And save the missile for later. Because that's uh, more damage. Actually, let's not. Because that takes away attack speed. But I'll save the shotgun 2 and the bad for later. On to wave 18. And let's just uh, hopefully survive it. Which I think we're doing pretty well. Now. And I really wish I had a Zipid's Relic right now. But I'll take those two traits. Two. That's always nice to see. And even if we don't get anything good out of, out of those traits that would be helpful for this build. Uh, well, I guess there's always the money of the that's inside the traits. So yeah. So, let's just, uh, worry about surviving this uh, wave, and not dying. Because I guess that's the optimal strategy. So yeah, we've completed it. And let's use out with the defective steroids, and the leech, and grab the shotgun, and the bat, and the other shotgun 3. And the blind, well, actually not the black bolt belt. Because that would take away some luck, and I don't have a lot of that left. So let's grab the shotgun 2, and I guess the blind, well, save the blindfold and the shotgun 2 for later. Because yeah. I think we're mostly shotgun threes now, so that's good. Because that means more damage for us. Which is always a good thing. Unless you're playing pacifist. For some reason. Hmm. How do I put pa uh, pacifist uh, plays like in Potato? So let's just take some unnecessary damage because I was distracted. And yeah. Luckily, there always seems to be enough consumable heals on the floor, and uh, to see me through this wave. Let's just hope that's the same case for the boss fight. And yeah, I guess uh, that's the wave completed, and let's recycle the terrified onion and the boiling water. And it is re-roll. And I guess uh, grab some more lifesteal. And the shotgun 2, the blindfold. And nothing here. Grab the other shotgun 2. And I guess a banner. And I guess a campfire too. And nothing, because we can't afford anything else. So yeah, I guess we only had 3 shotgun 2s left. Which is a good thing. Just look at that boss melt. Ow. And look at us melt. And then we quickly restore. Uh, our hit points. And yeah. Uh, I guess uh, that's a run completed uh, successfully. So yeah. Anyways, like and uh, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I guess uh, comment uh, what runs you, that you want to see me do in Potato. And yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next video. So yeah, bye.